Hello and welcome to this edition of Tips and Tricks. Now today I'm going to be talking about bluegill, the forgotten bait fish for bass. Now mind you, I did come up with this before I read the article, that, uh, finding out that the world record time bass was caught on a live bluegill and maybe that's why now finally, after quite a few years, I'm finally starting to get some companies producing really good bluegill looking uh, uh, lures. Actually. Bandit just came out with two really good bluegill looking crankbaits, so you might want to check that out if you want to uh, give this pattern a try. But the bluegill is, yes, it's a forgotten bait fish, and it is actually a very good bait fish, but it's situational. Uh, I, I discovered it on a lake that I fished when I started catching bass, and a lot of them started spitting up bluegill. I'd always heard bluegill was a, a, a prey that bass preferred and liked, but I just never saw any spinning out and I, I never really had much success uh, fishing colors that look like them but the difference was at the time I fished five different lakes four of them were very deep a lot of rock not much weeds not not much stick ups and the one was a lot shallower and had lots of weeds I mean weeds just everywhere and that one ended up being the one that the bluegill pattern worked tremendously I mean all the time uh, and I would hardly ever see anybody in that lake fishing any sort of bluegill pattern baits. And now, the other thing is you have to remember, bluegill come in two kind of different phases. When the water's dark, physically looks dark, kind of black, they will have a lot of sort of coppery bronze on their side, their, their horizontal black lines are really dark, uh, the top of them is really dark, a dark, dark green, it has sort of a bluish purple tint to it, uh, the oranges on them will be really dark, dark orange. And then when you get them in lighter water, like water that looks like, like a pea green or something light, they'll have a lot of yellow on their side, not chartreuse, but yellow. Uh, their top will be a very light green. Uh, their horizontal lines will be barely even visible. And the orange on them will be actually a very light colored orange. So if you want to match the hatch, like the trouters say, uh, depending on the water, you might want to go with a dark or a lighter colored bluegill the way they look. But it's a really good pattern, and uh, if, if, uh, one thing too, if, if you're working a, a surface lure, um, use one of the flat-sided surface lures, like a spitting image, or uh, Bill Norman has one called Flat One or something. Because bluegill, if they're on the surface, they're probably going to be tasting, uh, chasing an insect. And insects go along very erratically when they're going along the surface, so anything that you're trying to fish to imitate a bluegill chasing something on the surface is probably going to be something that moves very erratically, not this really nice, consistent walk to dog bush. You want something that's a little more erratic to give it a more natural look. Uh, but give it a try. Uh, bluegill, I'm sure it's going to be in favor now because of that world record tying bass, but it's very rare, a very underrated bait fish, and most people ignore it as a pattern to use. But if you have weedy lakes or lakes with a lot of brush and stick ups, definitely give it a try. I hope this helps. Till next time.